It's that time of year. Welcome to Chrysler Arena. Tonight, the Creighton Blue Jays come a-calling as the Big East meets the mighty Big Ten. The Michigan Wolverines in the, day in the quarterfinals. Simpson, a little, uh, as you like to say, oh, was that uh, what that was? I don't know if that was. Man! Mitchell was on the seat of his pants after that move. By the way, just four for five from inside the arc. Pretty. Oh, make that five of six. Off the dribble. Six. Confident player now. Not a good look. Here's a steal. Ballack the other way. Nice dish to Tyshawn. Beautifully done. The junior from Charlotte, North Carolina. It's costly against this team. You get numbers. There's another one. Tyshawn on the loose. Count it. Two mistakes and a quick timeout. Need to anticipate, of course, the errant pass and then running the floor, filling Ballack unselfish and just jumping the lane here. A gorgeous play. Tough pass from that angle, cross court. Nice ward off, nice read. A great on ball defender, this kid. Look at that! <laughs> he doesn't give, doesn't back off. In the first half, here's the bucket from Simpson. They really don't have a guy at the rim to do some damage, so Simpson able Check to roam in. freely. Break, Pretty Jones. clever that around the rim. Zygorowski pulled it down. Teske, the last one down again. Well, rejected this time by Livers. He anticipated that move. Out of bounds, it belongs to the Blue Jays. Boy, this speed puts pressure on the bigs. Teske running the floor. He just hasn't had many touches. Oh, Simpson to Teske. And that's what happens when you run the floor, big fella. Anytime you penetrate, you're susceptible to step up. You just can't get that coverage from that top side. And who better than Xavier? Is a savior right now for this club with his dribble drive. We get in their buckets, fellas. We are gifting their buckets. We have to be locked in. Down in the stands, called, ready to guard. Every possession. Don't fall asleep watching, okay? They throwing it back out. You cannot relax. We cannot relax on defense. There's a steal by Eli Brooks. Eli's coming! Oh. Eli's coming! Oh. What a read. Great defense on the ball. And right here, he's got the vision. And there's the ability to bring it, send it in. Since the break. They've shown toughness, really. Yeah, yeah without a doubt. Brooks nice the dunk run. down, Teske, and one. Brooks out of the Simpson book. <laughs> Congratulations to Jawan Howard and his Michigan Wolverines as hail to the victor plays. Michigan wins it 79 to 69. Very Over happy great. graduate of the University of Michigan. How about the D tonight? Really impressive, particularly in the second half. Well, yes, in the second half we were better, but I felt we had too many possessions where we let down defensively, where we fell asleep on some of their shooters. Yes, we were switching some of the ball screens, but we didn't do a very good job of communicating. We assumed the switch instead of communicating and talking out the switch. So we had some areas that we need to clean up for sure. Uh, Halftime, you spent a little extra time in there. What did you discuss to get them going? Well, you have to make adjustments. Uh, you know, you had to talk about owning it. You had to own the fact that, hey, they beat us on the glass. Um, we gave up 10 offensive rebounds. Uh, they won the glass in all the muscle areas. And I loose balls, which was 50-50 balls they beat us up on. Uh, they did a fantastic job of beating us in the paint. Unfortunately, I didn't like it, but I'm sure they did. So we discussed a lot of those areas where we need to clean up and, and win the muscle game. How about Xavier Simpson? You know, a couple of turnovers the first game tonight, a couple of mistakes in the first half. But, boy, he's a leader on the floor for you, isn't he? Yes, he is. Uh, he's a coach's dream. He makes my job a little bit easier because I know I can trust the fact that he's one of our best leaders. He's going to compete, tough-nosed competitor, and he's a smart basketball player. Is it easier being a player or a coach? Which would you prefer? Well, actually, that's a great question. You know, playing, I can control it a little bit more because I, I, I trust me. Coaching, I do trust myself, but uh, you have to give them a game plan that they can go out and execute, and you have to trust it. But I trust our, our guys 
our guys work extremely hard. They worked hard this week preparing for a tough matchup like Creighton, and it was a good win for us. Good luck for a long, successful run. I think you'll have that. Thank you, Legend.